Uh, we're eradicating several gardens here in uh, uh, state parks in Santa Cruz County. Uh, in this particular area, we had three gardens, uh, probably with a total of uh, maybe between uh, six and 8,000 marijuana plants. We have to use aircraft. We, we utilize helicopters to fly into the gardens. We have a line, a 100-foot line hanging below the helicopter, and then we attach to the helicopter. We get flown in that way. We do that for several reasons. One, it's very remote up here. It's, a, it's 100 degrees today, and if we had to, uh, to hike into these gardens and then do the work to eradicate and hike out, we would uh, have, have other health issues uh, besides the uh, heat exhaustion, uh, rattlesnakes, sprained ankles, and, and things like that. And then, of course, time is always an issue. We, we are more efficient utilizing the aircraft to fly into the gardens. That way we can get into the gardens quickly, get to work with minimal exposure to the environment and the hazards, and then we can get back out safely. And why is it important to do the work you guys are doing today? Well, the uh, right now these gardens, these three are on uh, state park land. And, you know, this land is supposed to be for the, the public to be able to go out and enjoy, whether uh, hiking or fishing or whatever they choose to do. And they should be able to do that free of the hazards of being confronted by armed marijuana growers. Um, and also the, uh, the damage to the environment uh, with all the, the pesticides and, and insecticides and all the uh, uh, factors due to the erosion because they have to go in and, and clear cut some of the land away that uh, this winter when it rains and starts eroding and then all those chemicals and, and uh, human waste just get washed downstream into the, into the water tables.